How's it going boys? Today I'm going to give you information gained by my detailed analysis. Yeah, analysis of dark matter and how is it related to our universe? Of course this video is going to be long but I think all the space geeks will enjoy. So let's get started. Well, well wait, um one subscriber is equal to one abuse to educational system. dark matter. I think one of the first things that we came to know about cosmology when we started building interest in space stuff was dark matter and other topics such as black holes and blah blah. After the first image of black hole, we can now just start to assume how close are we for finding things like tachyons, dark matter and other such hypothetical subatomic particles. Well, all this can be found if humans keep growing at this rate. And of course, only if humans don't do this shit so what do we know about dark matter and what exactly is dark matter so basically the visible universe including the earth the sun the stars and the galaxies is made up of protons neutrons and electrons bundled together into atoms we all know that perhaps one of the most surprising discoveries of the 20th century was that this ordinary matter makes up less than 5% of the whole universe isn't that crazy i suppose all of you guys know that very well the rest of the universe appears to be made up of a mysterious invisible substance called dark matter and a force that repels gravity known as dark energy dark matter takes up 20% of the universe and dark energy makes up 75% it was predicted by a dutch astronomer named jc captain basically our hero Now dark matter doesn't have a direct explanation listen me up when scientists in 20th century observed how big is our universe they came to know that the amount of normal matter present in the universe can't even make half of the universe so what was the remaining 95% stars galaxies clusters planet made of the answer was dark energy and dark matter both of them invisible but still can be studied by scientists So it can be said that the remaining amount of matter that made out universe is dark matter and energy respectively both of them making up a total of 95%. Well I just said that dark matter is invisible and still can be studied by scientists. You might be wondering what well well one thing to mention is that dark matter interacts with gravity. Um If there is a heavenly body made up of dark matter, we can detect that the dark matter is there just by thrashing it with just a pencil of light rays. The rays would bend and repel near the heavenly body that is comprised of dark matter. As simple as that. In this way, the scientists can know that dark matter is right there, but still they cannot see it. Quick note, dark matter is named dark matter because it is mysterious, not dark in color. We cannot detect it or calculate it, but we can just know its presence by using common sense. Now, there are two types of dark matter too. These are baryonic dark matter and non-baryonic dark matter. Well, first of all, we have to ask, what are baryons? In particle physics, a baryon is a type of subatomic particle which contains an odd number of quarks, such as 3, 5, 7, 1, whatever. If you don't understand this I will make a video on elementary particles very soon as one of you fellows asked me to do it and I got a lot of votes too only a small portion of the dark matter in the universe is likely to be baryonic others are just non baryonic dark matter is believed to be made up of non baryonic particles particles such as proton electron neutron are basically baryonic particles or we can just say that they belong to the baryonic category If we found non-baryonic particles in the future, our civilization and science can grow up rapidly. They are often been called WIMPs, W I M P S, WIMPs, which is an abbreviation for weakly interacting massive particles. Because dark matter simply do not react with ordinary matter and they don't 
interact with light and repels it instead taking aside all the theories and other stuff like that we can say that the dark matter is present in our universe in such massive amounts that we can't even imagine theoretical physicists struggle to solve this mystery but they simply can't find a logical conclusion einstein for example gave his theory of gravity which was discarded a long time ago and in which he spoke of a cosmological constant he said that the empty spaces can form anywhere in the universe along with dark matter his reference to the cosmological constant was probably another word used for dark matter now because einstein couldn't prove this whole dark energy and dark matter thing we already know that this must be a complex mystery if einstein couldn't prove it and it can be solved easily or soon hey guys so i just wanted to let you know that i have reached 300 subscribers and uh, it is uh, i did not yeah i did not even expected to reach 300 subscribers before i make this video but you guys just um, i think i got a lot of audience and i just love each and every one of you hope you have a good day bye well um now because i'm a human like you all probably i cannot cover both the topics or you will get the combined video after a very long time so i will drop my next video on dark energy now don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and share this to your astronomer friends and spread some space love peace out